Hello and welcome to another episode of Microsoft Fabric. In today's video, we will discuss Power Query templates, especially in the context of Data Flow Gen 2 in Microsoft Fabric. This topic is covered in the Microsoft documentation that I'd like to show you. A Power Query template is a file that encompasses the Power Query script and its associated metadata for a single Power Query project. It's meant to be used as a simple means to package your entire Power Query project in a single file. You can then share the file or import it into other Power Query integrations. This allows you to export Power Query metadata in a file and then share it, source control it or import it back into Power Query or data flow. Important concepts that are outside of the Power Query script or its metadata are outside of the scope of what to find in a Power Query template. Some examples are data flow related concepts such as scheduled refresh definition, refresh history, data flow IDs, connections referenced, and other concepts that aren't stored in the Power Query script or the metadata of a Power Query project. Now, what's the advantage of doing this? To understand that, let me navigate to Microsoft Fabric, which is at app.powerba.com. In Microsoft Fabric, I will navigate to Workspace 01 Fabric. In another tab, I will open another Workspace 01 demo fabric. From 01 fabric, I want to export a data flow gen 2. Let me filter the data to see only data flow gen 2. There is an option on the right side. This option helps to filter the various components from fabric and reduces the list of items. Let me click on data flow gen 2. I'll only see data flow gen 2. Let me open data flow 1. Data flow 1 is opening. Data flow is open now and you will notice an icon at the top right called export templates. Here I have four tables and in this data flow, I have made a few modifications to these tables. I've renamed columns and made several other changes. Most tables have multiple steps. For example, in the sales table, I created calculations for gross amount, discount amount and more. I used the add custom columns feature to achieve this. So you might have a complex power query or data flow gen 2 with many transformations. Now you want to transfer it to another data flow gen 2. How do you do that? You can use the export template feature. Click on export template at the right top. Let me name it data flow export one and provide a brief description. For now, I'll keep the description the same as the name. Once it's ready, the file will be downloaded. I can move to the next tab where the workspace 01 demo one fabric is open. Here, I'll click on new and select show all. I intend to create a new data flow gen 2 in this workspace. Once the data flow gen 2 opens up, if you pay close attention, you'll notice an option to import from Power Query template in the middle of the screen below the import icons. I'll click on import from Power Query template and proceed to upload. Let me select the file data flow export 1.pqt, the Power Query template file, and I'll click open and it will display all the queries I have exported. Now, regarding the connection, if it hasn't been used in this workspace before, it will prompt you for the configure connection. You can refresh this connection on the pop-up and select connect now. Depending on whether all these four tables are using a single connection or multiple connections, you may need to refresh the connection as once or more than once. In my case, I used only a single connection, so I completed this step with one refresh. One noticeable difference is that the destination has not been set here. That's something I need to configure. The reason is that we might not have the same destination available in the workspace. Apart from that, all the meta information that was available in the previous data flow has moved here. For example, all transformation steps, especially those where I created new columns, are available here. You can see my steps are preserved and I have all these custom columns available in the new data flow. Now I can set the destination and save this data flow. I won't do this for all tables, but just for reference, let's do it for one of them. Let me click on add data destination. I'll proceed to save it in a lake house in this workspace. In the 01 demo fabric workspace, I want to save it to lake 01. Let me select the lake. I am only saving one table to the lake 01 table, leaving the rest of the tables in data flow gen 2. Rename table as item template. Let's validate the data types all appear to be correct and the green or teal color checkboxes indicate that everything is fine. I'll click on save settings at the bottom right. Now when it comes to publishing, I have two options, publish now or publish later. On the small arrow on the bottom right button, I prefer to use publish now. Even if I click directly on the publish button, it performs the publish now action which publishes immediately. So I'm publishing data flow one. 
as you can see at the top, it's starting the publishing process and once completed, we'll receive information about the refresh time. You'll notice a loading icon indicating the refresh is in progress. After the refresh is done, we can explore the data in the lake. The refresh is now complete. Let's check it by clicking on the three dots. We can access the refresh history and examine the details. As you can see, the refresh was successful. You can click on the time to view more details. It appears that only one indented table was saved in Lake. Now, it's time to head to Lake 01 Explorer. We'll see if our new table item has been saved. It may take a little time before the data is displayed as a table or it may appear as unidentified. If this happens, simply refresh the page. As you can see now, the item template appears as a table. We have data in the lake house now. We've successfully transferred a Power Query or Data Flow Gen 2 project from one workspace to another using a template. This template file can be source controlled, making it easy to manage in CI/CD. Template provides an easy way to export and import Power Query metadata to other locations. Go ahead and explore Power Query templates. Please let me know if there are any specific topics you'd like me to cover in this series. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.